Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Assalamu alaikum. Nakash Azal back with another excited video tutorial. So this video is specially for those people who want to start Sanma 4D from the scratch and also for those who already use Sanma 4D because it's a really really awesome new feature. So I'm using Sanma 4D 2023. So we're going to create this sim uh, simple scene inside the Sanma 4D for our today video. If you have any other question, uh, subscribe my channel and comment below. So I will make tutorial on your uh, on your request if you want. So let's play. So as you can see here, I'm using viewport renderer. So it's really really fast. Let me show you. I recently rendered this 180 frame or uh, 920 by 1080 p. So it just take uh, around about how much? one minute one minute and 18 second it's 180 frames so let me show you what we're gonna create here so it's simple tunnel scene so with some spaceship going in the tunnel around like that so that's what we're gonna create here so let's dig in so let's stop this so let me show you what kind of setup we have here as you can see here we have simple uh, this tube we just turn off the spaceship because it's too heavy so as you can see here and we have sphere for our environment and we're going to use this all so let's create open a new project as you can see here so now we start with subline so if you don't know what is subline it's simple line there is a two uh, two math two method in any 3d software subline and geomet uh, mesh object like polygon object like this one and we're going to use subline and convert it into tube by using sweep nub so let me tell you what is sweep nub so this is a helix this is a default subline like spring inside the sanma 4d so as you can see here helix so we're going to use this for our tube and we just there is a uh, object properties we just change these object properties for uh, our desired shape so left add more height like more than 1000 so that's looking great sorry I mean it's too much so that's looking great and make it a little bit wobbly so that's looking awesome now we need to give th uh, this supply a geometry so we're going to use a sweep nub so what is sweep nub so uh, sweep nub is a extruder so they convert your supply into your what we say geometry mesh so let me show you what i mean here so in sweep nerve we need to use two kind of supply one for profile like i want to give this round shape so i'm use circle for which follow along our supply in this helix so let me show you what i mean here so if i put drag and drop under this uh sweep our helix so as you can see nothing happened because we need to give them profile like uh i mean we need to tell this sweep this kind of shape we want to give to this supply so let me show you if uh, let's select a uh, uh, random so make sure you just use supply not the other object so this is a supply tab and in this supply we are going to use a rectangle and as you can see here we are using rectangular and our all helix supply follow this rectangle shape but we don't want this one we want a round shape so we're going to use circle so like that so as you can see here our tube is ready so if you want to use so let's see let's experiment with other uh supply so there is an end side this is really awesome one and you can change the setting from there like side then it's convert into sphere if you want so like that so we th just make it simple and use our circle like that so our uh, tunnel is ready so we want some camera move which just go along inside our tunnel and follow all the way up so for that first we need to remove these cap from the front front side of the tunnel and the end 
so how we can do that so for that we just click on caps and just uncheck these to start cap and end cap so so there is our start cap and that's the our end cap so as you can see here it's going like that so let me show you how we can animate our camera through this supply this tube so first we need to increase uh, let's increase the size of circle and that's looking good for me so we just duplicate the our helix object and rename this wave to anything like our tube and now we have our helix uh, supply for our path which uh, which of a camera use so let's create a camera so before we create a camera we need to give uh, our camera a one what we say one target which they follow and go along this what we say uh, this supply so how we can do that so there is a null object if you don't know this is null just null there is nothing in this so you can use it as a reference or anything you want so as you can see here we create a null object you see nothing here so for but we want to see a sphere so just click on null and go in object and change shape door from door to sphere like that so as you can see here, it's pretty small sphere make it a little bit bigger and point it to our starting of our helix so for uh, f making them follow through our supply so what we're gonna do here we just right click on our null and go in animation tag and click on align to path so for uh, after that we just use our uh, if you click on this uh, align to supply tag so you can see there is a tag property so we need to tell this tag so you need to follow this supply so we just use our duplicate helix so as you can see here it's move on the right position so after that so there is a small controller so as you can see here if we go from 0 to 100 it's follow all your supply like that so this is the first step now second step we need to create a camera so what we're gonna do here we just use a target camera so there is small button of camera so you can use target camera here and as you can see here we see our camera but it's not really uh, following anything so what we're gonna do here first click on that small target tag and put our null inside this in there and we will just remove this camera target so as you can see here when we move our uh, what we say null object so our camera is following uh, sorry not like that <coughs> so sorry our camera is following that small null object like as you can see here all the way through but as you can see here it's not moving it stay on the, his place so how we can move that camera first we need to create uh, just duplicate that tag and put it on your camera uh, which is aligned to supply so as you can see here now it's following so what we're gonna do here as you can see here just looking at down all the way down to the our null object of his target so first we need to make it smaller like that and we need to fix that problem by animate these two uh, object camera and now how we can do that first as you can see here we want our null is little bit far than our camera so how we can do that as you can see here if we animate it without anything so they are both go on same speed and one camera is always on top of the null inside the null so we don't see anything so uh, to fix that problem what we're gonna do here we just change this frame 90 to 180 for give them more for give them more uh, more good look so what we're gonna do here we need to animate these two objects so first we're gonna animate 
a null object like just if you don't know how to get, uh, give keyframe and animate these objects as you can see here if we click on any of object there is a small circle or square in the starting of any all what we say all command like isoprom v and there is small and there this is clickable so these are for animating these all uh, values so what i mean let me show you if i want to animate that uh, null position as you can see here it's moving around so if it, uh, we hit play nothing happened because we need to animate them so how we can do that so if we want to animate this so first we just tell the software by holding control and click on that small button and it's uh, change into a red so as you can see here now we are telling it start from the zero and on the frame 130 it's going to 100 like that and make sure you just press again control and click on that small button when you change the value otherwise it's not gonna run. now let me show you what's happening here so as you can see here our null is here so now if we go back on our first frame and hit render so as you can see here it's moving but now we need to animate our camera also so how we can do that why we don't give uh, that null to full frame because we want some distance from null and cam between null and camera so like that so we make null faster and camera slower so now we just same do this with camera just point uh, press here control holding control and click on position now we go on all the way 180 frames and give it 100 percent so click on that so now if we hit play so as you can see here our camera is following our null but it's a little bit slower so it's missing some because uh, why is that if you click on that small button there is some as you can see here there is curve so let me show you when you click on curve so as you can see here uh, this is curve which is going from slower to faster we want don't want like that we want us uh, same speed so how we can do that just simply click on this linear and same with our null tag and when we go here and we select our align to supply and and click on linear so now let me show you now if we hit play as you can see here it's starting with same speed and going with same speed so that's what we're gonna do here so our anima uh, animation is finished now so let's turn on our tube and dig in so here is our camera you see nothing because it's all the way down and as you can see here it's move along our tunnel so we don't see anything because we don't have any material on that and if we just turn on card shading you can see better what's going on there so moving 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 and that's it so we need to little bit uh, we need to give them a little bit more randomness because it's not too wobbly so we just increase what we say we select both these helix, be uh, helix because we don't want to lose our uh, shape of the both of them otherwise our camera and null not following in uh, not follow our s uh, tube so that's why so let's play around with these values so okay that's looking good for me so let's see what's happened now if we hit play so that's not a good idea so we don't want that we need little bit what we say here <coughs> sorry a more straight now let's see how it's going as you can see here our 
camera is facing down from the beginning so what we're gonna do here we just increase the starting like starting angle like that and so we just change little bit uh, we just take our null little bit far than from the beginning so we just take this keyframe to 10 and <coughs> from the beginning we just make it little bit far so we started from like okay we started from 8 so let's see how it's look now now if we hit play so that's looking great so that's on you how you long uh, how you want uh, how you long you want your tube so I don't I don't want uh, to show you but you can understand how you can do that just increase the height like just increase it and change the settings so it's okay for me now it's time to give them uh, coloring material so what we're gonna do here we're going to use two color so I like to use a uh, same color I'm uh, I use in before my this tunnel so as you can see here if you just see it's really awesome and I'm using depth of field so just turn off that option so I'm using that same grid and transparent color so go back in our frame here and create a new material so we just change our render to a physical render and turn off the depth of field that's it so now as you can see here we apply our material on our supply so nothing happened because we need to add some coloring on it so in color tab we going to use I already download that so we going to use or oh, there is a lot of stuff I need to remove that all because it's now hard to find other images so yes many people now thinking he's so lazy and you know it's really hard to okay 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 oh here we go so we have this material here as you can see here it's not looking good so we give them little bit so I'm already using a seamless material from I just find it from Google by typing new grid texture so I that's what I get so we just increase the length UV length and not that much like that and also let me make it a little bit smaller we can see better uh, that's looking great so let's hit play so how it's look so our material is not finishing finished yet so so that's looking great so what we're gonna do here we go back in our material and give them luminance so we just turn off of this reflectance so we just copy that same material and drag inside the luminance tag and put on put it on texture and just check luminance as you can see here it's glowing now so after that we don't want uh glowing that what object that black color so what we're gonna do here we just make it transparent just turn on transparency as you can see here uh, our old thing convert in glass so what we're gonna do here we're going to use texture for our transparency so just drag click on hold click on your that texture and go in transparency and put it on your texture so by going uh, doing that so as you can see here we don't want like this we want it in uh, reverse so how we can uh, invert that image inside this and 4d just click on that small button and change black point from zero uh, reverse it just one and this one zero so as you can see here that's what we want so that's looking awesome for me so 
that's the whole step we need to do now as you see here in my previous one this is a lot more good looking and we also have this spaceship sir where is our spaceship okay spaceship is really really heavy so that's our spaceship so as you can see here so that spaceship i took from the really awesome assets of the maxon so if you go in asset uh, menu so just type spaceship and this one i'm using but i'm not adding spaceship in this uh, scene so i also give the link in description for all this project with spaceship so you can easily download it for free and check it out so we going to use something else like let's use what we're gonna use here let's use this uh, okay we're going to use this platonic for our object so how we make this platonic a uh, following following our what we say our supply so we don't need to do anything we just need to align our platonic to our null and there is there we go and like that and our null is already point on that uh, sorry our platonic on already point on that now so what we gonna do here we make a child our platonic of our null so just drag and drop under your null and now if you hit play it's already following your supply so nothing else you can do same with spaceship but you need to do some more stuff i'm not going through just check out that uh, project file so let hit and go in camera mode now if we hit play so as you can see here so that's looking awesome so that's is amazing so let's give them <coughs> magic so what i mean about magic let's make our viewport uh, what I mean why I say that so let me show you what I mean here so let's add sphere just turn off the camera and make it a little bit bigger more bigger than our tube so our tube is still inside so let's create camera for our sphere uh, I'm using sphere as an environment you can use this sky but it's take a little bit time for rendering let me show you what i mean here so we just turn off everything and turn on the luminance so i have this galaxy scene okay this one and i'm using this <coughs> sorry. <coughs> sorry i'm use that so I'll just go in blah, blah, blah. So, so let's go back to our camera view as you can see here we see behind so if we try to render it without anything as you can see here it still take a lot of time without any global illumination or lights it's just taking time so that's why we're going to use our viewport rendering so that's really really and amazingly fast so what we can do here so first of all we just give them depth of field so that's really where magic happen so just click on your camera make sure you just turn on you know, change your renderer to physical and go here in physical and turn on movie camera as you can see here nothing happen click on your object and in the in the camera cap in sorry camera tab so go they are down in the focus object click on that small button and choose your platonic so what it's going to do so your camera is mainly focused on that pl uh, platonic so now if we give them depth of field so they blur everything else except this one it's depend on your depth of field so first change the output 
we just change it to a 9 t20 and 10 80 and now next thing we just make our camera a little bit field wider like like that and now there is really magical magical effects here so we just turn on the option so as you can see here so we just add uh, turn on everything so like change it to a high hq post effect magic cooler look this is the main magic uh, i will show you later shadow transparency uh what we say sa ssao it's mean ambient occlusion is a uh, subduence and mainly depth of field that's it we need to turn on everything already you see it's more more good looking right now so we just turn off that and if we control x sorry control so as you can see here it's not looking really good right now so we will fix it in a bit so what we're gonna do here so we going to use a magic puller so it's only available inside the San, I think Sanma 40 from Sanma 40 R25 not pre in not in previous version so that's where, where really magic happens so just check on that magic bullet look and first we need to make sure we give them more depth of field so go back in our camera tab and in physical we just turn it down as you can see here it's on you how much depth of field you want to give so as you can see there everything got blurry and except this one we need to play around with that angle field view and change little bit helix like that and let's go in our magic bullet look and as you can see here if we hit open magic bullet so we don't see anything right now just turn it off and change it to our viewport render so first we need to hit render here okay that's looking good let's render one image here go back magic bullet delete that and add again magic bullet for see our viewport that's why i'm not changing it so so after that we are going to use the magic bullet here so if you don't see magic bullet here just change it to viewport render it's not necessary i'm saying if you don't see here magic magic bullet looks so let me show you how you can right click and here you find magic bullet look and here we go so now click on open magic bullet look and here is where you change everything and give them really really awesome and new look there is a lot of preset so which is really awesome as you can see here it's immediately check uh, changes but we want something noisy and old-fashioned and old movie type so as you can see here there is a flip-flop and really really awesome kind of thing here okay let's try this one click on that and press that small button good and as you can see here everything is looking awesome already so let's give some material to that platonic so what we can do here let's uh, model it a little bit so what we're gonna do we're going to use atom array so if you don't know what is atom array so what it's gonna do here it's uh, give all these edges a small slender and 
all those pointers convert into a small sphere so let me show you what i mean so just drag and drop your platonic under your null and your platonic under your atom array so as you can see here what i mean here we just duplicate it so we also want platonic inside this for we just give it uh what we say simple transparent glass material like that just put it on our inside platonic we don't see too much there but that's not looking well so let give them little bit metal look and change it to a gold here click on layer for now conductor and change it to anything you want gold just uncheck the color and boom and for our atom uh, atom ray we just use same material like that not like that <coughs> we just give them little bit what we say luminance S okay and also little bit of reflection we just give them and change our furnal layer funnel to dielectric so that's it that's what we're gonna do here so now let's see how it's look when we render it so what i mean if we're going to use it render with physical render or any other render so as you can, if we hit on rendering it's take too much time already as you can see here and you can imagine how long it's take to render one frame this kind of frame so if you don't uh, want anything else you just use magic bullet and uh, as you can see here how much difference you have you can just use magic bullet preset and you can change your lighting and everything else custom looks so let's play around with that all okay tiny scott uh no no okay filmic look so let's roundhouse you can make it uh, make your own custom if you are familiar with um magic look so you can create it create your own version of what preset so i'm happy with that so just press okay so as you can see here everything looking good so what we're gonna do here in platonic just turn on the edge more let's see as you can see here if we add more segments so what's happening here so now go back into the card shading and let's change the material of our array so we don't want it too much reflection here so what we're gonna do here we just change it to something metallic like let's change it to a silver and turn it on that's what we want in viewport render you must use something uh have material on that like texture uh, photo texture on that so let me show you what i mean here so we don't gonna use spaceship because it's really huge so click on object and let's see they have a lot of awesome objects so path not bedroom appliance so let's use something 2d element or 2d element bedroom okay we're going to use something from there so let's use that camcorder we need to download it so downloading is finished double click and where is our camcorder just turn off our camera mood and camcorder 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 where are you okay just press s so here we go this is our camcorder without focus so first of all we need to turn on our just click here geometry we need to turn on our controllers so 
as you can see here we have really really big environment so that's what affecting it so just delete that platonic and lighting also and where is our camcorder and here we go make it a little bit bigger and we just take it under our null and let's see if it's on ready on our null or not we just turn off that tube right now and take that okay now turn on the tube here and we just make it a little bit bigger and let's see here we just also apply this one here okay take supply from not this one let's go now we just delete our okay as you can see here now if we hit play so as you can see here our camera is camcorder is out of focus now we need to change our camera target as you can see here we can click on that target tag here so we are using null as a target so now we are going to use uh, what we say here camcorder and if we hit play right now as you can see here it's already out of focus now mm. okay we need to something we need to change something or oh, okay we don't do that and we forget to focus this tab here focus object we're using camcorder and as you can see here there is a still problem so what we're gonna do here go back in our focusing object and we're going to use that body let's see how it's work now okay we give them so we're going to use in our camera that that lens and if we go through so that's looking good for me so that's how you can create so let me show you how you can render it properly so as you can see here everything is out of focus and that's looking okay if we render it with the uh, physical render direct rendering so it's take a little bit time so if you are happy with these results just go there in filter and click on geometry only everything is vanishing and let me see shadow hinting just okay i think no we don't want that so as you can see here everything is looking good just go back here in physical and make it a little bit blurry more depth of field and that's looking awesome so how to render it just click on viewport renderer and click on viewport renderer and just click on copy effect from my viewport and don't forget to click on filter and geometry only now if you hit render here let me show you how okay we need to also change that we just want to render all the frame let me show you how much time it's take okay just click on yes we don't want to save it so as you can see here it's working like 
load better than if you don't want if you don't have problem to get really really realism in your rendering so it's the best way you can do that so as you can see here so let's see how long it's take there is a bunch of thing uh, happening uh, behind that uh, Sanma 4D so it's after all of that it's still really really amazing and fast I'm using my laptop also so as you can see here it's still really really fast so that's amazing okay so it's not end well i think so let's hit play so that's what we get so you can change the setting if you want to follow more closely just change the setting takes your camera to close and if you have any question let me know so you can also use fog anything uh, there is a lot of options so that's the first part of the beginner lecture so i will tell you if you have any questions just comment below and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friend who want to really in 3d learning like virtual uh, uh, visual effect or film making anything so i'm going to create videos regularly from now so thanks for watching bye bye